Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. I need one. Okay, this one's from Fremont Brewing. This is their head full of fresh hops. It's a fresh hop hazy IPA. Okay. And this puppy uh, comes in at 6.8% alcohol by volume. They're from Seattle, Washington. I've never seen this one. Last train home. Never, uh, never tried anything from the fresh hop, head full of fresh hop series. They used to have one that was very similar to this called head full of dynamite series, but this is, I guess, maybe the first one of a new series, possibly. And it's got a little literature here. Let me read it real fresh, uh, real fresh, real quick. It says head full of fresh hops starts with select fresh hops harvested in Yakima, Washington, and loaded onto the brew kettle within 24 hours of harvest that's pretty awesome fresh hop beers signal the harvest season in the pacific northwest and the height of our brewing year so this this ought to be pretty good um packaged on 9 26 23 and today is 10 12. so um it's like barely over two weeks old so it's super fresh I do like uh, Fremont. So this is like a new series, I think, that they're doing. That's what the can looks like. Okay. It's a pretty cool can. Uh, I've been very impressed with this brewery thus far. Um, really, um, they do good work. So uh, let's get this puppy in the glass and handle it. Right, Scrooge? Scrooge? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. We, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. The world these days is driving me to drink more. Oh, I can smell it from here. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get a quick thumbnail here real quick. Do this right. Beer house style. Okay. No, I don't want a selfie. No. There we go. Get that head a little higher up there. Might have goodies. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Beautiful. So, looks good. Okay. Nice tight head, frothy, creamy, silky, a little bit foamy, just a little bit, and uh, we're very hazy. It looks like a New England style, so light orange color, a super, just a little bit you can see through it, but it's pretty damn hazed out. You can't really see the sharpness of the light through it, so it's got some good haze going there, you know. Yeah, I know. I can smell it. It smells awesome. Very good smell to it. Oop, didn't do that right. There. If there's any chance of goodies, I want them. I want them in there, in the glass, and then in my belly. That looks really good. That does look excellent. I uh, You can pretty much rely on freaking Fremont to hook it up pretty damn good yeah so let's check out the aroma big time tropical citrusy notes I mean very good smelling oranges pineapple mango grapefruit Stone fruit or something, maybe kiwi or something. Super complex smell. It's super tropical, fruity, citrusy. It smells amazing. Floral. It's got that nice bite to it, like a tangerine. 
we just, oh my god there's just so much going on it's just got the whole medley i mean if you if you can think of it you could probably pull it out of this beer i'm serious that smells awesome wow it's making my mouth like water i can't wait let's get a hit cheers i need it Ooh. all the notes i picked up in the aroma are there but then i'm getting right up front that fresh green hop, like right off the vine, like wet hop. Yum. Nice head retention, medium mouthfeel, very zesty, refreshing, no booziness or raw alcohol, nothing like that. It's just, it's, a, it's awesome. Ooh, the burp is even tasty. Wow. It's pretty dank. Yum. Yum. Good job. As usual. I mean, I don't think I've had a bad beer from these guys ever. They've always done very good work. You can really tell it's a fresh hop, though. Wet hop. I love it. Mmm. Yum. It's not like overly, like it's not, it's good balance. And, and you can tell there's no, um, um, what's that stuff? Uh, anyways, I'll think of it when I'm not thinking of it. Lactose. Yeah, see, told you. So, yeah, it's leaving some good lacing on the glass. I love it. It's refreshing. This would be a good beer on a hot day. I did pick it up from Total Wine and More for seven over seventeen and a half bucks for four pints, so it's a little bit pricey. Total Wine and More is cool because they each time you make a purchase, I said this in my other videos, you get a, a, a second receipt that comes with your main receipt, and on that it's actually a coupon for two dollars off. So put that immediately in your wallet. Next time you go, hand it to them. Get two dollars off any four pack or six pack. <coughs> so, seventeen and a half, six. If it's fifteen and a half bucks after the coupon, but if you lose the coupon, you're talking seventeen and a half. Pricey. Um, I used to be able to get these beers, Fremont four four pints, a head full of dynamite for like thirteen something. Inflation is really pushing the beer prices up but this is damn good i don't know if it's more expensive because it's a new series and it's different it's probably more expensive to do fresh hop you know that's like a wet hop thing i think i think it might be more expensive to do that i don't know i'm not a brewer i'm a drinker i'm gonna i'm gonna think about maybe starting to brew i don't know i'm kind of scared Maybe my bro might help me. I don't know. We'll see. But it would be kind of fun. We'll see. But this is a really tasty beer. I love it. There's a lot going on. It's very complex. And uh, it's a little overwhelming for the palate. Because now it's just a blend. When I first cracked it, you could really... You know, the, especially the aroma. When I first cracked it, it was just really nice. But now my senses are just kind of like, just pretty much like wrecked. <laughs> That's how good it is. Mm, That's nice. Nice all the way from front to back. <clears throat> no lingering bitterness. Nothing like that. Excuse me, sorry. Let's see if we can get some of the malts to come through here. Got a little whistle nose going. Sorry if you can hear that. Yeah. Very tasty. Very good. So, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, 
It's leaving some lace in there. Look at that. So, I mean, it's not the greatest beer I've ever had, but I do love the wet, fresh hop characteristic that it does have. It's, it's like almost a marijuana-ish kind of deal. I love that. Um, I just, uh, this beer, I think I would prefer to have a little bit more of a backbone, malt backbone coming through on it because it's a little watery as far as the malt backbone goes, a little thin on that. But as far as the hop flavors go and all that stuff, it's banging. It's off the hook. It's off the chain. Really good hop profile. Uh, could probably use a little bit more heavy malt backbone. I guess maybe a higher ABV would be better with this one. So Fremont, if you're listening to me in the future, if you're doing this as a series, go maybe like seven and a half, maybe eight. Make it a double and you'd be having things, man. So with that said, on a scale of one to five stars, and if I like it or not, I'll start with that. I do like it. And on a scale of one to five stars, I would give this puppy a 4.7. If it had a double version of this or just a heavier malt backbone, I'd probably give it a five, but 4.7 for this as it is right now. Thank you for stopping by and checking out whatever's on my channel. I do a vlogs of my recovery and I post up every beer I drink every day online. And I just do some kind of random stuff. Uh, I also do product reviews and stuff. And uh, sometimes I do some comedy, little musical guitar shred stuff. So, uh, Hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell. If any of that stuff sounds good to you, I'd appreciate it. I'm still trying to get a 1,000 subs. I'm getting real close. I appreciate you all. Have a great day. Cheers. Later.